Hello and welcome back to Robbie's Arcade. Today we want to talk about mods, bootlegs, pirates. We want to talk about the games that were created to make a quick buck and were effectively living outside the law. A lot of it took place in Taiwan and China, but a number of these mods and bootlegs and pirates and dodgy versions of games made it out of that country and into the American and the British market. And there are a number of them some people were lucky enough to play, but a lot of the issue was to do with copyright protection. Um, unlike the CD-based games of today and digital downloads, cartridge-based games were very hard to pirate. A lot of that is due to the physical construction of the games. I'm going to keep skipping that demo because this was a game that was available for the Sega Mega Drive, a bootleg cartridge, you can see at the bottom right of the screen there, that was made completely without the license from Namco or any other individual um, and just made to make a quick buck and sold on the cheap. Now a lot of the time some of these mods were games that were just completely unavailable. The idea of Tekken on a Mega Drive is laughable. Um, now a lot of these bootlegs and the more sophisticated bootlegs took place in around about 96, 97 and towards the middle of 1998. We're going to feature a lot, of the, a lot of these on the channel in the next coming weeks. And you can see from the screen there, this game is not 3D. The Mega Drive couldn't even dream of some of the 3D graphics in Tekken. That said, it's not like there isn't any graphics of that caliber in um, our Mega Drive game. Look at Virtua Racing. That is a truly 3D based racing game but it's just that was way beyond the talent of a game like Tekken uh, or indeed Tekken 3 Special. Now once again the game was released and created dodgily I should might add in Taiwan in 1996 or 7. Now Tekken 3 6 is a complete bootleg it is not official do not buy it do not pay for it it is a dodgy as sin game um, but, but there are lots of little there's even trivia I can give you on this game later on in the video but without further ado Let's check out Tekken 3 Special. So first thing first, the option screen. What is that in the background? I believe that is horrifically broken graphics. Uh, the background there, you can choose role change to continue. Yes, difficulty level, easy. Let's do that. I make the fight count to one because I don't believe we're going to be playing this for a vast length of time. We will be looking at the other bootleg games such as Tekken vs. Virtua Fighter and um, some of the Street Fighter ones, Marvel vs. Street Fighter, X-Men vs. Street Fighter on the snares of all things and all of these bootleg games and how they came about. So let's get into the game shall we? Let's hit arcade mode. Let's have a look. Let's play as Paul. Paul's a solid character to play as. Still no music weirdly. Oh here we are. Now block is a button that you can't press any direction with at the same time. So here we go, I'm holding block. But that's not doing a great deal. The other two buttons are punch and kick. Now remember we're playing this on easy but I think that may be a completely spurious uh, um, option screen there. One may also notice that the design of the characters is completely different between Paul and Nina. So there we go, we lost. Also, you may have noticed the energy bar goes the wrong way. The music is awful. We went straight to a continue screen and we're going to go with Kazuya this time. So now we're up against Lee. How many rounds there are, who are the bosses, I don't know, but it's going to be a lot of fun finding out. Because for a start, most characters have a projectile move. There has been a token effort. It should be said. You can forget about the usual moves that you're used to with Tekken and how they're pulled off. This game doesn't agree with that philosophy at all. The background's laughable. Um, and weird sonic booms there. If you'd have bought this thinking, wow, I've, got, I've visited to Taiwan with my family. I think I'm going to get hold of that Tekken game. You'd be bitterly disappointed. I got my ass handed to me once again. And largely because a lot of the testing did not go into this game. So let's go to this Yoshimitsu. Why not? As you can see, they're utilizing the Tekken 2 sprite. Uh, sprites available, all the graphics there. So here we go. Let's see what Paul's got on offer. So if we hold back, we have the sword attack. Standard. Street Fighter gestures don't seem to want to do the job. 
The other issue is you can't utilize buttons and directions at once. You have to press one and then the other followed up. I'll be honest, this is one of the worst games I've ever played, but I shouldn't be that surprised because it is an unofficial bootleg. But the person who designed this, because clearly time did go into this. Let's not, you know, let's not mince words. Time was spent creating this game. But Namco must have been absolutely furious. For example, I've set this to one round, yet there they're at the top of the screen. You can see that apparently it's a two round count. Now, to be honest, I think it's about time that we learn some of the trivia about this game. So, we'll let that count down. Now, a lot of the trivia about it, obviously it's an unofficial game. Apparently I've been defeated, yet there my character still stands. Now, Tekken 3 Special is an unlicensed Sega Mega Drive game based on the Namco franchise Tekken. Uh, little is known about this actual game and this awful music uh, that's making my head split. However, it does share some graphics with both Virtua Fighter 2 and Tekken 2. And there's a similar game to this, or a bootleg game, I should say, on the SNES, with slightly diff uh, with different um, overall output uh, of the game itself because of the hardware differing. Now, the backgrounds you have noticed are insanely simple. They're by no means animated. And the um, often, those backgrounds are just the same background mirrored down to conserve uh, RAM, something on the system that was incredibly limited on the Mega Drive. On top of that, um, if you do complete the game with a character, which I'm struggling to get even past one round on easy mode, uh, all you get is congratulations, that's it on the screen is a splash screen, and that is your lot. So uh, the playable characters are Kazuya, Lee, Paul, Jun, Yushimitsu, Heihachi, Nina, and martial law or just law now the controls as i've already mentioned are insanely limited uh, the, although the mega drive at that time had a six button controller this game only utilizes the three button interface because you've got a as block b as punch and c as kick on top of that blocking is completely broken to hell as well not only because you can't um, hold block and a direction if you press a direction with block you're no longer blocking but on top of oh, that is getting so annoying isn't it um, but on top of that if you try to uh, block with an air attack the block doesn't work now in the SNES version it was fixed if such a thing can be called fixed in a mod or a bootleg game but again in the SNES version they fixed it by removing block altogether and just pressing back now I've pressed start too many times and apparently I'm back in the game so let's carry on there's still more trivia to come Uh, apparently performing any move in this game is close to impossible. Woo. Maybe I should have checked out how to pull out moves on this, but right now this game is dreadful. Um, now, once again, not just the fact that the rock is broken, but most of the hitboxes do not detect. It's been, it was one of the first pirated games um, of this series of beat em up games for the Mega Drive in that period. It contains custom sprites that would go on to be recycled and reused in a number of bootlegs that followed. So one could argue that this bootleg is the one that had the most effort and all the ones that followed were just rehashes of the same sprites. None of the uh, resources in this exist, exist elsewhere prior to this, so someone actually did go to the trouble to make them, be it tiny bitmap versions of an existing game. Um, and the additional, there is actually an additional background deep in the ROM that wasn't used. No one knows really where it's from, and there's no means with which to access it in normal gameplay. All it is is a graphic that's accessible on the ROM. But I've got to say, Tekken 3 Special is a right piece of shit. And anyone that was foolish enough to buy it, I feel really bad. And I'm sure you were, felt a little bit gypped, but I hope you only paid a couple of dollars for it. But one last time, just for the road, let's try this out. And this time, let's play as Heihachi. And let's see if Heihachi can bring home the bacon. The fact that the punch button didn't work, even though I pressed it about a million times, is depressing as hell. 
it is definitely worth mentioning, and I already touched on this before, but the fact that the, the kind of sprite there between the characters differs greatly. On top of that, fireballs. Whew. Okay, I've learned how to do one move and I can't even get it to connect. Oh yeah. And on that note, before I smash this stupid game to smithereens, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this game. I certainly didn't. If you want to see more bootleg ROMs or you know of a bootleg ROM that you want to see on the channel, do pop it down there in the comments. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry this game was so pish, and who knows, the next bootleg game might actually live up to it. But in other words, in other words, and in other words, uh, start again, shall I? And, and nevertheless, do subscribe. Do click like and if you enjoyed the video see you next time thanks for watching